Monday. Not necessarily morning, almost midday now. Been a little bit busy this morning. I've had a whole bunch of time to be uh, doing some video and stuff. Such a new week. Uh, just a quick little update here. Where we're at and what's going on. Uh, we're about halfway through trucking for the day. I think number uh, number seven left. So we're just a touch over halfway through. Ha uh, touch over halfway on trucking for the day. We have a new guy here today trying him out on the skitter. Mm, not sure yet on him. We'll see, but uh, he he's he's drove over two hours to get here to try and work. So we're gonna give him a shot. Um, nothing major's happened this morning. There's no updates on the uh, the 853. I do know this much. It will have to go to a shop. It will have to have the whole head completely removed from it. And chances are we will not be getting a loaner machine since we signed the paperwork stating that we understood that there was a fault with the head and it would potentially be a, a you know an issue that this would happen one day. So. So we're just, you know, just kind of rolling through our Monday here. Nothing real uh, crazy. Like I said, I've been kind of doing a lot of walking. I've been in the woods a bunch this morning, trying to keep an eye on the new guy and see how he's doing. He's never worked thinnings before. We're uh, we're we're getting close to finishing this track. I think I, I was hoping to finish it this afternoon, but. I honestly don't even know if we'll finish it tomorrow. Where Matt's at, he probably had all day cutting in there today. And then I know there's at least another uh, day of cutting up front. We're trying to get all the sloughs and stuff cut out. The rain chances miraculously went back up. The weather people just don't know what it's going to do anymore. They, I don't know. It's hard to watch them and, and make your work plans around them because... They'll tell you one thing and then another happens. I mean, they were saying that we could be seeing rain by noon today, and it's a couple of hours from that, well, about an hour and a half. And as y'all can see, the sky is just as pretty and as blue as it has ever been. So I don't, I don't see any clouds around. I kind of look back towards the south, and down towards the south, there's a few starting to build in, but. So yeah, I'm not sure. We'll uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens for the rest of the day. Hopefully, nothing too crazy happens. Like I said, those. I guess you say uh, storyline of the day for right now is, you know, nothing's broke. Well, the track shear is broke. It's it's down. It's gonna have to go somewhere to be fixed it's gonna be a very very major job uh, the day itself though is going fairly well considering we only have one cutter one rubber tire cutter going because that little 718 is not gonna cut which Matt was way ahead with the track cutter so hopefully that little 718 will cut enough to kind of cushion cushion uh or keep his cushion up where we're going we're gonna have a whole bunch of road building to have to be done so anyway I just figured I'd pop in here and give y'all a quick little uh, looks like we're about five minute update here let y'all watch the loader work for a second get some video of some other stuff kind of working around a little bit and add some music to y'all for to it for y'all hopefully y'all enjoyed the last video it published a, about an hour ago maybe and uh y'all just hang out we'll be back in a minute
you know it's been a rough couple of days when I'm on the same battery two days in a row on my camera it's uh, it's been rough so it's the end of the day on Tuesday and I would like to have gotten some more video of stuff but I just I can't because uh, I don't have somebody coming and fixing my stuff I'm me or Mickey here we're the ones what put our stuff or dad whenever he comes out and helps and I call him or his job lets him get here it's uh we're the only ones that work on our stuff so you know Matt does too we, we all we as a crew put our stuff back together it's not you know it's not like I get to call somebody and they come work on my stuff for me so basically when something goes down unless I can strap a GoPro to my head and I don't really like the GoPro on the head it the the shots are like incredibly jittery and stuff sometimes I just don't care for it <clears throat> it would probably be better if I had a newer GoPro but having an old GoPro like I have it just it just doesn't work so um anyway I, that's just rambling there so we've ended up managing to pull off 11 today. We pulled off 11 yesterday. So we're setting at 22 for the week. So we're two behind on the 60 for the week. I don't foresee us making it back up. Um, multiple reasons. Out of the blue. I think I mentioned it a second ago. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, they had some kind of little old low pressure system move up into the gulf like in the last 24 hours or some crazy mess and literally in the last six hours we went from just a blobby mess of rain to uh, a tropical depression to now we're at tropical storm I can't remember its name it starts with an I but anyway that's what we're doing right now so like 70 to 90 miles to my west they're predicting like 20 inches of rain right here where I'm at there's predicting anywhere between one to four it just depends on how you're gonna get caught underneath these little bands as they come moving in y'all can see the sky it's it's uh it's starting to kind of move in and get dark <clears throat> We're just trying to finish out our day. I'm not trying to pile a whole bunch here in the back. We're still on the Carpenter Bridge track. It's, um, I'll be glad when we get done with this place. I'm, I'm pretty sure y'all can hear in my voice. I'm, I'm quite discouraged. I'm not crying or complaining or looking for pity or any of that other mess. It's just, it's frustrating. Um, it's part of working with older equipment. Uh, it's it's really frustrating when something like that happens with the track cutter because the track cutter is you know just over a year old it's 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 super frustrating when something like that happens to your new equipment but like I said I knew I knew that coming into that game that, that, that we were risking that possibility but I did not know it was going to be that fast now the old 718 I can understand if the motor just went bad because of the hours that are on it but on the same hand whenever it happened when the motor goes bad like it has we haven't completely diagnosed that the motor is trash we know for sure the turbo is trash but when something like this happens and it causes a uh, a twenty thousand dollar failure and you don't have the funds to repair it right now it's it's um it's quite disheartening because of how it happened uh, and you can see the 620 sitting here the guy had come try and run it he just he wasn't what he wasn't what we were looking for uh, I needed somebody a little more versatile and he he never worked thinning before and give him a couple of days and he just he wasn't catching on so nothing personal we just got to move on to other stuff probably for right now since we only have one cutter 
we're we're not going to hire anybody for a little while uh, and then kind of touching back and then if any of y'all have watched my videos for any moment a minute of time you you understand that I bounce around a lot when it comes to conversating so uh, kind of touching back on the thing with the rain if it comes even an inch of rain that's probably going to knock me out of my next two tracks that we had lined up so then we're going to go back to something that i had started from the winter of 2018 no 2019 no 2018 yeah 2018 it isn't horrible wood but it's not like gravy wood like this is which is fine it's just gonna suck having one cutter trying to go back to that kind of stuff because it's not the easiest cutting stuff in the whole wide world and then um, we're also uh, you know I'm gonna be missing commitments and stuff because we're down to one cutter See, that's kind of how I, a lot of people they'll they'll comment well how do you make your your how do you pay your bills and everything on 60 loads a week when you have all that equipment I'm technically only set up to work like a three person a three machine job you know one skitter one cutter one loader but the 620 for all intents and purposes is paid for that my other loader is paid for the 718 is paid for so we try and keep you know four steady men on the job and then I kind of float around from machine to machine as the fifth person either mechanic in or you know doing whatever needs to be done or you know just you know I may skid today I may cut tomorrow I may load today I may do all three things in the same day I may do all three things in an hour um, it's just kind of dependent on you know where I needed the help at the most at the time so right now I mean you can still do the 60 loads with the three pieces of equipment but you're gonna be working so much harder so and we have to get our 60 or get as close to our 60 as possible because like I said we have commitments to our meal that I have to meet I it's not like I can just say oh well you know times are tough screw it we're just gonna scale back it's I have commitments with my timber company and mill and I have to meet these agreements so it's a lot of stressful times going on right now a lot of stressful stuff um, I may just go ahead and throw all this together and do y'all a Wednesday video. It probably won't be the most popular video, but it'll kind of keep y'all in the loop on what's going on. So, uh, anyway, just a, a quick little uh, recap here. It, so, let's see, today's Tuesday, Monday. We're still on the, we still have the 648. We're still on the Carpenter Bridge track. On Friday, the y'all saw the arms got ripped off of the FR50 head. Monday, we took the track machine to the shop. This morning, we got our 822D back. We had it loaned out. We have it back in our possession now. Um, let's see what else. The 648 blew a hose a while going in. We had to change it. This blew a hose yesterday. We had to change that. Um, yesterday afternoon, the 718 started running hot, running weak, everything else. I thought it was a simple thing if it was just getting hot and it needed a, a new pulley assembly on the front of the motor. We take it apart. It's not. It's, uh, the exhaust is falling off of it and is rubbed over. The intake for the turbo has rubbed over on the machine and rubbed a hole in the air intake system and has for sure rent the turbo possibly rent the motor um, so then this morning we went and got the 822 it's just been a an exciting 
not exciting. Exciting. This has not been exciting. This is this has been frustrating. This has been another frustrating week to start off. I'm not sure if I I'm not sure if I touched on it in a earlier segment here or not, but we broke one of the cardinal logging rules of uh, of doing logging and some people say oh that's just a bunch of crazy mess some people say it's you know they treat it like religion we are one of the ones that treat it like religion but uh, you're supposed to start a new track of timber on any other day but a Friday and we come over here and started this track we cut one tree well we went to come over here and cut one tree with the rubber tire and when we got here the saw wouldn't kick on because the solenoid wasn't working right for the actuator on the saw pump so the uh, saw wouldn't come on so instead of cutting a tree we just pushed a tree Thursday afternoon before we were supposed to start this track Friday we worked good, Saturday we worked good, Monday we got here and the world has fell apart ever since then. Um, in my wholehearted belief, that's part of it. We've had coming to and from work, uh, coming to work on Friday the 13th, we had a black cat run across the road in front of us. If you're any kind of superstitious person, you know what that means. Uh, and I want to say it was Wednesday going home from work we had a black cat cross the road in front of us so we've had two black cats cross work to a Friday the 13th we started a brand new track on a Friday <sighs> and there's been a full moon a rare 500 year full moon so yeah So y'all be catching this up on Wednesday. Like I said, this this is not going to be anything crazy exciting or anything like that. It's going to be more of a vlog. Kind of update y'all on what we got going on. So that 853 is still down. It's in the shop. 748 is still in the shop. It should be back hopefully tomorrow. We still have the 648. The 718 is blown up possibly. We have the 822D out here cutting. I will get some video of it tomorrow if we don't rain out. We now are dealing with a tropical storm in the Gulf, dumping a lot of rain towards my area, possibly. It's uh, it's wild, to say the least. So anyway, man, we appreciate everybody for watching and listening to me talk on here because I know I'm boring to listen to and. Hopefully y'all enjoyed watching the job work right here as I rambled on. And uh, everybody that's near the channel, welcome aboard. It will get better. It's got to. Uh, the videos are usually way better than this. I'm just, I'm not necessarily just pushing this out. I've just got a good bit of content with nothing really exciting happening. Just kind of vlogging and updating y'all on what's going on in the Thomas Johnson logging world. And I will uh, hopefully get y'all some great video starting tomorrow and Thursday. And then y'all have a great video on Friday to watch. So, uh, yeah. Thank you. Thanks again for everybody for watching. If you would, go down there and subscribe for me. Hit the notification button so you get notified whenever I go live or do uh you know publish a video i usually publish my videos somewhere between nine and ten o'clock in the morning central standard time and uh if y'all have any suggestions on videos of things that y'all have questions on or would like to see something comment down below let me know i'll be more than happy to try and answer your questions and stuff i got one question uh, the other day I think I'm gonna work on that some with the next video so figured I'd just kind of show y'all how our world is still falling apart <laughs> the second week in a row so anyway we're still making our loads that's that's the bottom line keeping us afloat making our loads so y'all have a safe week hopefully y'all having a better week than I'm having hopefully it's uh, not too wet wherever you're at and you're able to work or whatever and yeah y'all keep on logging i'm gonna keep on logging 
Make sure everybody keeps on logging. And we'll catch y'all on the next one. We're later. We're out of here.